Hi guys, ZZ here, how are you doing? Um, as of now, I'm still on furlough, so there isn't much bike riding going on, uh, being it in Scotland. Uh, England, the lockdown has been slightly released and they're allowed to ride their bikes, but sadly in Scotland, uh, we're not yet allowed to ride our bikes for leisure purposes, so I'm pretty much uh, stuck in the house other than going out for exercise and whatever. Um, I have got a return date to work, which is uh, quite a good thing, so uh, that's quite positive. But apart from that, I'm uh, pulling my hair out, pretty much. So, while I've been bored, uh, I've decided to upgrade a bit of my riding equipment. And I went and got a wee thing from getgeared.co.uk used them before, I actually quite like them and their stuff is very limited but uh, great customer service um, I will say that um, I requested a price reduction because I found it cheaper elsewhere they weren't able to match the price exactly but they gave me a price that was fair enough for me to actually say you know what I'm going to, I'm going to give you the, the business so that's what I did and I was only losing out I think it was about 15 quid so uh, that's what I did but just before I show you what's inside this box I want to uh, give a shout out to Deluxe Chimp um, I've done a wee sticker trade um, if any of you don't uh, follow Deluxe Chimp go I'll put a link in the description to his channel and uh, I'll show you I'll show you what I got Hey Zed Head, hopefully things are, aren't too crazy over in Scotland with this pandemic. I've included some stickers in a spam card. Thank you for the trade. Stay safe and COVID free, deluxe chimp. Cheers buddy, really, really appreciate that. And like I say, uh, your parcel is uh, inward bound, but our uh, postal service has been quite slow. So uh, I'm just hoping that it gets to you really, really soon. So what we have here, if you look there, Deluxe Chimp Spam Card Ride Safe Deluxe Chimp Nice touch buddy, I like that And I must say The quality of these stickers is absolutely spot on Beautiful so they are Really really top notch uh, A wee one here Cracking And That one here So that's a big thumbs up from Zed Head for Deluxe Chimp. Go check out his channel, drop him a sub, and tell him, tell him Zed Head sent you. Uh, spot on. Thank you very much for that, buddy. Really, really appreciate it. So, what have I been purchasing? It's always interesting. I love an unboxing. Unboxing videos are some of my favourites. And it's the anticipation of what's inside as opposed to what is actually inside sometimes. Don't need to tell you safety of uh, knives, kiddies, so be careful and take care when you're operating a, a knife. I've got some AirTech bubble wrap. Hey! So, here we have the Senna 10S Motorcycle Bluetooth Communication System. Absolutely fantastic. Wait till you see this. This is this is class. A little packet of Haribo Sweeties. That's brilliant. That just puts a smile on my face. That's brilliant. That's a nice wee touch. I like that. Um, bike like Schwarzenegger. Oh, just a little 10% uh, discount code, which I will be using. And it's just my invoice, which I will keep in there. But nice one, get geared. Haribo Star Mix. Just need to keep them away from the kids. So, 
So I've been having a wee look about at the, the Senna kit and I was looking at the 20S and then I was looking at the 10S and to be quite honest the, the spec between the spec between the two isn't a, isn't a great deal. Um, I think the the amount of riders you can pair up with on the 20S is slightly more than the 10S and I think the range is bigger as well. But the 10S actually uses the ear uh, earphones from the 20S. Um, and I think the 10S, if I'm right, is a, an upgrade from the Senna 5 SMH. Forgive me if you can hear a wee noise in the background. My cat is actually outside the window trying to get me to open the door, which I'm not going to do because they're all chipped and we have a cat flap at the back. So my cat has just been a lazy uh, bugger trying to call me to, to go and open the front door. So I'm not doing it. Go away! You know? <laughs> She's a lazy wee so and so. No, I'm not letting you in. Go away. So I'm always, I'm always interested to see the way that uh, companies package things. Like, uh, I don't want to get into the whole Android and iPhone uh, argument or debate, but I always feel, see the way iPhones are packaged, they're, it's more pleasing when you open them up. I don't know if any of you agree with me or disagree with me, but the way that iPhones come, it's like the way you open it up, you pull the tab and it just all opens up and then even when you lift the lid when you lift the lid and slide it out it just seems to everything is just dead smooth and exactly the way it should be whereas you get some sort of brands uh, even like some of the android phones and they're just a faff to get into it's like even like the, the pull down strip it doesn't pull all the way around it's just be niggly things like that you can tell that somebody has spent a lot of time at iPhone even working out exactly how they want it to be packaged and presented to people, which uh, I find brilliant. So I'm, I'll be interested to see how this is packaged. So basically what we've got here is a slide off sleeve and the slide off sleeve reveals what can only be described as a mini shoe box. So we open this up. I'm not letting you in. Go away. Can you can you hear her? So what you've got when you open it up, you open it up, you've got a nice wee bit of foam there, just protecting everything that's inside it. Um, and it's, uh, it's also got, to minimise the risk of serious injury, death, or product damage, read the, it's basically just a wee uh, read the user's uh, manual before using this product so by lifting this off what you'll see is the Senna and the way it's laid out it's, abs it's absolutely uh, brilliant the way it's laid out actually so we have this is the, the clip which will clip on to my helmet along with what looks like the headphone uh, jacks as well. We have the actual headset itself just sitting there. It has like a little toggle, which is actually quite good. It's, you see like the, the toggle? I don't know if you can see it or whether it will focus in on it. The toggle is actually slightly ridged. So you can actually spin it with your thumb and I think you'd actually get a good grip on it with your, with your thumb. Um, we also have the two earpiece um, which will have like a, an adhesive backing on them and these will be obviously either side along with the wiring um, for uh, aye, for your for your ears, obviously for your pieces. So they'll go into the integrated parts of your helmet. Um, if if you're interested, it's an AGV K3 SV helmet that I have at the moment. It's just a brand new one, a uh, uh, black 
uh, one. I had a red and white one before, but um, for this season I've changed to black uh, because my bike's black um, and I just felt that I um, suited it. So here is the, the mic for the Senna as well. So yeah, that'll integrate into the to the whole uh, the whole thing. So yeah, I'm looking forward to actually setting it up in the helmet and seeing what I need to do, where I need to put it, so on and so forth. But I'm really really excited. Everyone that I ride with has a a Senna. So I've got a charging plug. We have actually quite a comprehensive uh, quite a comprehensive little guidebook, quick start guidebook which I am going to read before I get going. Um, a little tray in there. What I'll do is I'll just line these up like so. Oh, so now you've come in. Have you come in now? Hmm? Have you come in now? Come on, see me. Are you a good girl? Hmm? Are you a good girl? Hmm? What was all the screaming about? Hmm? What was all the screaming about? Eh? Oh. Alright then. Hello. Hello. This is Molly. Molly was a wee, a wee rescue cat along with her brother. Uh, we took the two of them. She'll be gorgeous. She's not very keen on getting handled. You know, she is. She ends up getting fed up and scratching. So, put her down. It's safer than uh, finding out. So, I take it this is... Um, I take it this is for the earmuffs. Um... Yep, it looks aye. Well, I think of what it will be is, is there's, I'm sure in the integrated part of my helmet, it's like, or it may be the, the sticky pads, right, you need to get down now, pal, thank you. That's what it will be. It's like a Velcro system. Um, well, there's, looks as if there's another type of mic as well. There's like this uh, little flat mic. Which will have like your wee foam if you're not wanting to do the, the solid mic. So there's a flat mic. Um, to me it looks like there's another another cover or another lock. Which is possibly if you're sticking it to the outside of your helmet. Again, I need to look at the fitting instructions. So... That's that. We have a little, it's a 3.5 to 2.5 uh, jack plug with springy wire. I'm taking it that there will be, I think that's what they are. This will this will be the guards that will go over the actual microphones themselves that will have the yeah, it has to be. Aye, that's it there. So basically, they'll they'll go over. <laughs> that looks like that looks like a wee berry. <laughs> Hello. Um. Yeah. So that that's like the wee foam ear defenders that uh, will go over the the speakers. And again, some three M. So the three M tape has like a hook. It's hook and eye. So. The, they've got a little hook on them and all the sort of mountain pads and whatever have got eyes on them so that's pretty cool I'm really happy with that um, like I say you get quite a lot of quite a lot of stuff along with the, with the kit uh, looking forward to hook it up see what kind of uh, See what kind of setup, see what the sound quality is like because I know that it's got um, 
noise cancellation on the microphone and stuff like that. It'll be interesting to see exactly how good that is, especially from the likes of Rider to Rider, because the likes of the uh, Flying Jock and Grems uh, Moat Vlogs and R6 Monkey, um, I'll put links to their channels down in the description. If we're out riding together, those boys uh, had centers, so they were able to talk to each other, whereas Norman no mates here couldn't. So yeah, it'll be good to get into the it'll be good to get into the game with, in that respect. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here, uh, guys and girls. That was just a wee quick one, just to show you the unboxing of my Senna 10S. I'm now going to spend the next wee while getting it set up in my helmet. I'm not going to show you that because there's a million and one uh, videos on YouTube of people setting up their centers and so on. So I'm not going to show you that. So, and there, like so. So, if uh, if you are now able and allowed to ride uh, down south, I wish you well. Um, not jealous at all, much. And um, what I would say is, take your time. A lot of people have not been riding for a good number of weeks. A lot of people that have not ridden over the winter or don't ride over the winter that have had an extra seven week layoff um, that are going to be getting back on their bikes and expecting to ride expecting to ride them exactly the way they rode them when, when they uh, started to, to lay their bike up for the winter. So just take it easy guys. Don't be a, don't be a statistic. Just uh, chill out, enjoy the fact that you can ride, enjoy the fact that you can get back out on your bike. Uh, all the while feel sorry for the likes of myself who, who can't get out to ride for another few weeks. Like I say, at the beginning of June I'm uh, going back to work, so because I'm going back to work I can use my bike to travel to and from work. Albeit it's not a very long journey, it's a journey all the same, so you should be able to to see me in some videos uh, soon on the bike. Take care, ride safe. Don't forget to click like, comment and subscribe. This is Zed Head saying take care, peace out.